Hi, hello, and welcome to this place on the internet. I'm asleep. That's a stream. That's it. I'm just gonna sit here with my eyes closed. Um. What, what, what did I want to do today? Sketch. We're gonna sketch some things. Um, something, something similar to these guys, basically. Because I found another video of the water doggos, and and in that video, the the water doggo is is positioning himself in different ways that I didn't sketch in the first time. And I just want to practice some more water doggos. So that is what that is what we're gonna do. Plain and simple. You know? Easy peasy. Lemon lemon. Anyhow. Oh no, I'm not gonna start with this actually. I will start with a sketch, as per usual. A pencil sketch. Also, I hope you're having a wonderful start to the week. I think. I think. I don't know. It's a Tuesday. I mean, the week started yesterday, so... Uh, you know, whatever. I hope, I hope you're okay. <laughs> I guess is what I'm going for. So... Let's... Let's go down with the regular circle route that I was I was doing for all of the other animal drawings. Just a bunch of circles. And then the circles form the rest of the creature. It's payday, so it's a good start. Okay. Well, that is that is a good day then. It looks like weird ant, <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna look all right. I have faith in my abilities. <laughs> I have faith in my abilities to create this into a into an animal. Gonna be okay. Watching all these animal videos it makes me want to have a water dog at home. I mean, it, ain't gonna, it, it just, it never happens. Never happens and never will happen. There ain't gonna come a time when I will have a water dog. But boy, they look adorable. Anyhow. On a positive note, I finally um, ordered some gouache, so we'll see how how good it will perform. Um, all I really needed was a couple of colors, so you know, it's, it's not like I, I went all out. I have sort of come to the conclusion that I don't necessarily need like a huge variety of of colors to begin with. All I really need is like the basics so I can mix whatever I want. Um, so, you know, I sort of got like just a freaking Prussian blue and more of the burnt umber um, because those 
Those have been a fir firm favorites of mine lately. And then obviously white. This time I went for um for Windsor and Newton one. I mean I have I have one color from Windsor and Newton right now that is gouache. I do really like it, so I have high hopes. I have high hopes that the Windsor and Newton white is not gonna be a disappointment. And for that matter, I I bought two tubes of that, so it better be good. And if it's gonna be the same translucent, transparent shit that Schmincke gave me, <laughs> I will be very upset. But hopefully, hopefully it's- oh! Mac! Thank you! <laughs> Freaked me out while I was ranting about, <laughs> about paint. Thank you so much for that. Um, hi, all of the Chloe hearts are going directly towards you. Also, Caternal, hello, and Arneb, hi, welcome. It's very early right now. <laughs> it's very early. I'm like, my brain is half asleep still, which, you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, though. Nice round of Chloe hearts is, is coming. Can I click quickly enough? Thank you. Um, speaking of dogs, I'm I'm gonna be drawing a water dog, one of one of the slippery water guys. <clears throat> so we'll see how that will go down. Well, Mac, it's appreciated. Thank you very much. <laughs> we are just starting. We're just starting with the art situation today. So hopefully, it's gonna it's gonna be on a roll and on a roll to greatness. <laughs> but thank you. Oh, I see, Eternal. Hmm. Probably, may, I don't know, maybe Dapper, maybe someone else, I don't know, I can't remember. There, there were a couple of like sub-bomb situations happening, so <clears throat> I'm doing alright. Um, I guess I could be doing better, but I could also be doing worse, so overall we're pretty solid and pretty decent and hopefully things will only get better as the day progresses and as we you know, actually put something on the paper and maybe learn something. We'll see. We'll see how things will go down. So far, it's all right. <laughs> Starting in a good sort of mid midway point. You've been derping all over Twitch with that. That's appreciated. Yeah, it's actually one of my favorite emotes. I think this one and the... Um, and the Chloe Yay, uh, those are just, I don't know, my favorite ones to use whenever and at any given situation, you know. So. These guys, they have such cute little snouts. It's so adorable. But then again, like all parts of them are just adorable. The little hands and the way their body is shaped, it just it's like a little compact, ch chunky sausage. <laughs> I mean, you can't see what I'm looking at. I'm just looking at a, at a freaking pause video of a of an otter. For a second I forgot what what is the actual name of this animal. It's not a water dog, it's an otter.
Shadow, hello, hello. Oh, it does look like a chunky sausage. Chunky sausage boy. I don't know. Messed this line up. Um, I am drawing little, little otters, little water doggos. Silence your favorite sound. It is. It's great. It's golden. Another otter, yes. We're on an otter roll roller coaster. It, it's great, it's fun, it's a fun ride. <laughs> They're just interesting creatures to draw, so... And I didn't feel like, um, d you know, diving back into, into finishing some of the paintings. That being said though, this guy, the, the mountain one, I did change this area, so like, I got rid of of quite a bit of the white and I feel like it's still not finished it still needs quite a bit of something but I'm much happier with how this side now is like just darkness zone maybe I will reintroduce like a teeny tiny bit of white like somewhere or maybe put more white here um, but I feel like things are a little bit more balanced now, so so that's nice. Strong British accent. Are you in the UK? No, I've never been to the UK. Lithuania. I'm also not from Lithuania. Thank you very much, though. <laughs> I have been to Lithuania. It's It's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it there. Oh, you just said it just to say it. Hmm. You know, sometimes I guess you need to act upon your urges to say or type out certain things. Fair enough. There are so many freaking curves happening in the bottom area region of this creature like chunks and lumps and it's almost difficult to understand which chunk is what
Legend, hi, hello, how are you? That leg ain't right, <laughs> or more like that foot. I'm just doing some sketching and practicing to draw others. So, nothing particularly important, I guess. But then again, it's fun. Just having some fun time. Is this Bob Ross? Do you see me beating the devil out of things? I don't think so. <laughs> By hell, in that picture, that freaking hind leg, it makes no sense. It's bending in ways that just look unnatural. I mean, it might be natural for a freaking otter. I look at it and I think that is, that's just not how things work. <sighs> Painting for yourself for the first time in a while. It's a great feeling, isn't it? Did I finish the volcano? <laughs> what volcano, my dear? What volcano? Um, but no, it's not completely finished. It's sort of... It's left at this stage, um, but it still needs quite a bit of work. So we'll see how things escalate and where I take it and how I take it to the final end point. But um, for now, it's staying like this. Sometimes you might find yourself in a spot where you think it just isn't quite right. Sometimes you just got to accept those things as they are. <laughs> Not Bob. <laughs> well, you see, acceptance is one thing, but I also need to recreate them somehow, and... I'm not sure if, if, if this is gonna work out, you know? I mean, I will blim and try my best, but... Sometimes, sometimes you're also defeated. <laughs> I feel like I might be defeated with this fucking leg. <laughs> Haven't even, even worked on it for like three minutes. And here we already are. Defeat. Who is that sexy man above your sketchbook? Oh, that's actually a serial killer. <laughs> um both of these guys I'm pretty sure uh, yeah <laughs> but it's just it's nice it's nice you know for like holding my sketchbook a little higher up it serves a great purpose this book I've actually I haven't read it I think I started with like one page and then I haven't picked it back up, but one day I will read it because I'm quite intrigued about this. <sighs> but yeah, it's basically the, the In Cold Blood book. What is it? It's a reconstruction of a murder that took place in 1959. And, um, yeah, these, these two are the 
actual the actual actual people who did it so there you go that's that but they're not the important bit here on the screen this is the important bit the little other guy <laughs> Did you hear about the little girl who went upstairs to get some medicine? I think she's coming down with something. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one, fair enough. The other does look angry, yes. But the more I look at, a at others, at others, um, they have this sort of, from certain angles, they have this sort of angry look to them because they have like little lines that um, go from like corners of the eyes here and they sort of go upwards and meet in the middle and, and form like a upside down Y, thus making them, them look a little angry. Um, so, you know, they can't help themselves. They're just born that way. <laughs> they have their wrinkles in 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 a weird way so they're not angry they just you know they might look a little angry but it's fine they're not they're chill except when they're not <laughs> sometimes they're not chill sometimes they are vicious attackers and killers You're done with these, that's good. Thank you. Is my other vicious or chill? Uh, he's gonna be a chill boy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. What is the R going to be on top of? Empty space. I'm not creating a, a full picture with background and everything. I'm just practicing how to draw an R. So he might interact with something. Maybe I put like a, a you know, some type of fruit maybe in front of him. So it looks like he's like, ooh, approaching the freaking fruit. Other than that, nothing. 
Nothing. I mean, I see that you're extremely excited about the fact that this author might be in space. Um, you don't need to type all caps because of that. <laughs> let's, start, let's start with a little bit more of a chill approach. Um, he's not going to have a space suit. I'm going to disappoint you right here and right now. No space suits. Um, that's about it. <clears throat> it looks like, like he's looking into a koi pond. And then one of those ma massive koi fishes just comes and swallows the poor guy whole. No, no, we're not gonna do that. We could, but we're not going to. You didn't mean to bring the puns. Of course you did. That's why you brought them here. That was your intention. Own it. It's okay. Just, you know, no need to apologize. <clears throat> the first one was a great one. The second one was also pretty decent, you know? Koi fish don't eat otters. You don't know their life. Maybe if they have no other choice, they will. I mean, there are, um, you know, those, those are not koi fish, I guess, but what is the name of them? The big, ooh, what's the English name for that fish? I don't know, but there are those massive big fishes that will sort of almost crawl out of water uh, and attack birds that are drinking <laughs> like at, at the at the not at the coastline but i guess at the coastline whatever you know not sharks like normal normal fishes but they're massive um let me look up the name maybe Oh no. How do I find it? Oh, a catfish. A catfish. That's the one. Yes, a catfish. <laughs> because those grow massive and then they... 
They sometimes attack birds. That all, all they all the birds want to do is just drink a bit of water, and then all of a sudden there's a fucking fish emerging from the water and swallowing them whole. Um, Walkfree, hello. But today we're not drawing animal hybrids. No, no. Today I'm just practicing to draw some otters. That's about it. Similar situation like like here. Um, just you know, otters from from different perspectives. Okay, hello, how are you? Well, Omni, see you some other time, hopefully enjoy the rest of your day. You just woke up, but notice how early I'm awake. Well, I mean, according to my standards, 8.30 is not necessarily early, <laughs> especially if it's a weekday. Um, but you know, fair enough, you're up early. Congratulations. You're doing great. I said you're doing great. <laughs> Listen. Do you have university today? Or are you up just because you're trying to be a good citizen? Oh, you do. Fun. Fun times. But you only go to the last lecture. Why? What about all of the other lectures? It's 1.30 a.m. where you are. Middle of the night. Bloody hell. Good citizens wake up at the crack of dawn, exactly, to utilize all of the daylight that you can. Um, do I play video games? Occasionally. I'm not the biggest game person, but, um, every once in a while, <laughs> once in a while, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> every once in a while, uh, I might play a little bit of Terraria, but I'm not like a, you know, I, I don't, I don't play things that often. <laughs> <clears throat> there is one which you could visit at one forty five. <laughs> 
But after that, there is the law lecture, and you refuse to go there. Why? <laughs> Why do you refuse to go there? Are you against learning anything about the law? Is that not an important bit of your education? Didn't you get into Risk of Rain? Oh, I d certainly really like Risk of Rain. I haven't played it for a while, but that was the the first game that I really got into. And I still like it. I think I will continue to like it until the end of my days. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't played that. You look like you would be very short. Well, maybe I am. Maybe I am extremely short. The shortest person ever. Because the professor is an asshole and law sucks. Fuck this. Great. <laughs> That's the attitude to have. <clears throat> I'm taller than Shrek. Well, how tall is Shrek then? Do you have the exact measurements of Shrek? I'm very tall. I'm so tall. Somewhere between 180 and 183 meters. <laughs> oh, sure, yes. <laughs> Somewhere between that. Um, you don't really leave a, a, a heck load of wiggle room there, but sure. <clears throat> Senor, hello, hello. <clears throat> Bloody hell. And Oana, hi, good morning, how are you? And hello, Eric, is this June already? It is. It is, you're spot on. This is June. Welcome to June. Everyone's invited. <laughs> hi, Senor, Dad. The combination of emotes is just... They both match each other. <laughs> Um, Risk of Rain 2 came out earlier this year. It sold over a million copies in the first month. It's 3D though, and I think you said that makes you dizzy. Yeah, I, I tried it for literally 10 seconds, and I was like, nope, <laughs> I can't handle this. This is, that's not for me. That's not for me. I enjoy Risk of Rain. I like the game itself, but I also like the fact that it's two-dimensional and things are not spinning around. Um, so can't handle Risk of Rain 2, can handle Risk of Rain, will keep handling Risk of Rain. The original, the good one, yes, thank you. <laughs> Your name is Eric. Shocking. Um, and you found this channel while browsing at the art section. No, while browsing the art section. Section. <laughs> what is this place? Not art. Um, we are infiltrating the art section to take over slowly with our agenda. You're welcome to join. We will take over the world one day. Become the warrior of others. I still play Terraria. Uh, yeah, I do. I mean, I was playing it yesterday. The thing, however, for me right now is I'm a little bit stuck there um, in a sense of I know, <laughs> I know what I should be doing, which is just, 
just going down, beating the wall of flesh and getting into hard mode. That is what I should be doing. But I am putting it off. And I've been putting it off for a while now. All I've been doing is just doing stupid ass fishing quests and building underground gardens that I don't need and no one needs. Um, so there is that, you know, I've been putting off just going for it. I constantly have a feeling that maybe, maybe I can do something more. Maybe I will need something more. Maybe I know that I don't need any of those things. I've been there. I know how things go. I know. I know. But whatever. Rant about Terraria over. Well, Eric, I'm doing all right. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm not doing like great, but I'm also not doing bad. I'm doing like, like just in the middle, like solid. I'm doing solid fine. All right. <laughs> Solid mediocre ES. That is spot on. <laughs> spot on. I should do some penguins. Penguins are the best. Penguins are pretty cute, and I don't think that I have I have drawn penguins. To be fair, I don't know if I've ever drawn penguins. I like penguins, but it's just not something. I can't I can't think of a time when I have drawn a single goddamn freaking penguin. So maybe maybe that's that's next the next thing that I should be drawing. A penguin. You like my glass mug, thank you. I like it as well. I got it at IKEA. Oh just realized it's covered in paint. That's dry paint. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Penguins are interesting. Kinda. Maybe. You, um... Well, I guess it really depends what you find interesting. Uh, because it's not like they're doing much. They sort of just wiggle around and squish together when it's cold and try to protect the egg when they have an egg. And uh, they stay, they're very clumsy, as far as I know. They fall a lot and they make weird noises. But I guess, you know, that classifies them as interesting creatures. Um, would you draw a penguin that is wearing a sleeping otter as a hat? Or maybe holding a cup of water with an otter relaxing in it like it's in a hot, hot tub? How big of a penguin is that? Or how big of a mug are we talking? Or how small of an otter are we talking here? Because as far as I'm aware, that just, it, it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Have I tried the meatballs at Ikea? No, haven't ever had any Ikea food. Uh, no. I mean, every single time when, when I am at Ikea, I see all of the people who go there and shove I don't even know what in their mouth holes, and that's great and amazing, but um, yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really willing to eat at Ikea. It's a freaking furniture store. Like, stay in your lane, Ikea. <laughs> it's great that you can make food, but like, make furniture. Focus on that. Thank you very much.
Did you lick your paintbrushes when you were a kid? No. Who the fuck licks their paintbrushes? Well, actually, there was a time. <laughs> there was a time when people licked their paintbrushes. That was back in the day when, um, well, I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of people who lick their paintbrushes right, right now at this very moment. But um, there was a time when, um, <laughs> when the beautiful, <laughs> the beautiful um, radioactive substance was discovered and people didn't know that it's radioactive and uh, uranium paint was created and because it obviously glows in the dark it was like a fucking discovery heck yeah the most amazing thing because guess what you can do you can paint it on on the little um numbers and and hands in a clock and then you can see it in the night and all of the ladies that used to do that, paint paint by hand all the little numbers, they would lick the paintbrushes so they stay nice and pointy. And they also then were ingesting all of the paint and <laughs> fun times, fun times. So yeah, don't lick your paintbrush. You don't know what's inside of that paint. You don't know it. Probably not radioactive anymore, but you don't know. <laughs> Just don't do it. <laughs> Thank you. Twenty three point five people worldwide lick their paintbrush every minute. Why? Just get a paintbrush that holds a nice point. That's it. The only paint you would lick is body paint. I wouldn't do that. I mean, yes, it can go on top of your body, but you're not supposed to ingest it, so... So it begins, yes. The Kindergarten, part 27. Um, seen that female artist that drinks paint and vomits it up on canvas? No. Not my cup of tea. Not my vomit spot. <laughs> I, like, I don't know. Not for me. So why would you put yourself through that? Well, Lysonic, hello, hello. It's so fucking cold here. I need a blanket. <laughs> I need a blanket and a hat and a scarf.
Yeah, well, it's sort of... It's not so much about creating art. Like that, if anything, that's like... Um, performance art and pushing the limits of shock value and you know what is the next one up thing that that we can do like it's not about putting something on a canvas and being like this is amazing like wonderful like no it's about the performance it's about the things that have been done in order to achieve whatever Why is your sub badge a paw print? Are you possibly a furry? My dear friend, I think it even say, says in, um, oh no, oh yeah. <laughs> it does say in the wonderful description of this fucking place. Uh, welcome, I'm Chloe. I like watercolors, gouache, and dogs. I like dogs as animals. They're my favorite animals. So, if anything, it would make sense that I have dog-themed things. I have a dog thing on my shirt. Um, I mean, I guess if you are in a mindset of being a furry, then I, you know, anything seems like the world is turning into furries but no no i just like dogs dogs are great and paw prints are even better <sighs> a lizard i'm a lizard <laughs> I'm a lizard person in a human suit. I said it's a dog like creature. <clears throat> a gazpacho lizard mm. how do you know about gazpacho you're new here eric <laughs> what do you know <laughs> you're at work the clock is ticking and you have no task to do i will come up with something give yourself a task whatever that is i don't know Rework some tiles. Well, maybe don't. Office rumor. Ah, uh, yes, that's the best thing to do. Start an office rumor. Did you know what Sally did the other day? No, what? My favorite type of dog. I don't really have a favorite one, uh, but I do prefer dogs that are sort of bigger in size. They're just more dog, you know? It's more dog. Don't don't have one favorite favorite dog. Although Rothwellers are pretty epic, um, and so are German Shepherds. But <laughs> Sally and Kevin. Yeah, we know. Damn it, the rumor spreads fast.
Sprout Guru, hello, how are you? You have a Dalmatian, ooh. Are you saying what a sentence to your own sentence that you typed? Or what? <laughs> or what K? What is it? What, what sentence? Yes, no. To my. The fuck did I do? Well, socially constructed. Thank you. Thank you. Place the sticker under the laser and then unplug the mouse so that when they go, oh, very funny sticker, it still doesn't work. Sounds great. That's exactly what you should be doing right now, Eric, instead of sitting here in this newly discovered place. How do I pick the animals I work on? It's a good question because I don't I don't really know. Um, as of right now, for instance, I have this video on YouTube about otters. So I just pause the video every once in a while and sketch the otters. So I guess, you know, if I find like a, a nice video where the animal is visible from different angles, then that sparks my willingness to draw it um other than that there there isn't really like a, a list of animals i'm like yes i want to draw this 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 and this well turtle good night the naked mole rat yeah it's amazing fucking 10 out of 10. <laughs> What brush I'm using? This is Pentel Aquash brush, I think. Pentel Aquash brush, the watercolor brush, the one that you're supposed to fill fill with water. And I don't do that. I just like the brush dip, so I use it as a regular brush. Um, one time you had to call call in from home and tell them your computer password. Even the fonts were all pink in Windows. Spend two days getting all the settings back. Isn't that fun? That that just signifies signifies wow. <laughs> Ugh can't. I can't. I just can't. Are you gonna do one when they're where they're floating on their backs? Kinda like this? Possibly, maybe. We'll see. How I tried Pentel Pocket Brush Pen? No, I have not. I haven't tried any of the like ink brush pens, so I don't really know how they work and how good or bad they are. I mean, I have heard great things, but personally, haven't tried them.
Yeah, well, it's okay, Zolder. You tried. You tried, it's fine. What can you do? Get some more coffee. Or some more sleep if you can. And if you can't, well, then... I don't even know. I don't know. No one can help you. <laughs> we can't help you. We can't even help ourselves. <laughs> We're all tired. You had a good evening yesterday, though. You are fairly m mediocre mood. You're in fairly mediocre mood, despite wasting your time at the moment. Okay, well, why, uh, why did you have a good time yesterday evening? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare you to have a good time? <laughs> Unacceptable. <coughs> <coughs> you watched Deadpool 2 yesterday. You were alone on the couch and A2 pairs. Solid. Right. Also, why did you spell alone with a capital A? That's what you taught as well. Maybe maybe that that needs to be your new brand, your new branding. <laughs> Alone trademarked. <laughs> Alone K. K, the alone one. Your pinky is more awake than the other fingers. Cool. Thanks for that fact of life. How did you find the movie? Yes, Kay, I understand. Thank you. You don't need to go into in-depth explanation about what your pinky does. Like, I understand. It pressed the freaking key. Drop it. Tell me about the movie. Thank you. <laughs> we lost our game to Canada. I mean, that was expected. <laughs> but it was some glorious hockey to watch. Six to five, eleven goals. You'll um, you also watch watch it, whatever Game of Thrones, and also had tons of laughs with Monica on random sub subjects. <laughs> Uh, can I like delete this day? I can't. I can't speak. I can't read. That's great. I'm glad you had a wonderful time, Eric. Also, who is Monica? You're new here. I want to know. Your Monica, your Monica is your significant other, 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 other. Okay, maybe you're like a, I don't know, a magician, a, a pr future predicting magician. Also, we don't know who Eric is. Eric might be a lady. His wife. Maybe her wife, maybe her sister. You don't know that. <laughs> there is a difference, just alone or capital A alone. At least it was not all caps alone. <laughs> uh. Could be a pet, could be anything really at this point. I mean, I, we have established that Monica is a significant other, so that's great. How long have you been together? Maybe you're a cauliflower, but you're not. <laughs> you're a broccoli. You're not new here. We know you, Kay. You're a broccoli, a solid one. 
your imaginary friend. Maybe, I don't know. We know nothing about you, Eric. You're new here. <laughs> You've been together for a while. Hmm. That's cute. Hmm. Bloody hell. <laughs> Kay is alone <laughs> with two pairs and Deadpool too. I'm always assuming your vegetable background. Always. You leave me with no other choice. Some people are okay being alone. It's their choice and that's fine. Especially if you're a broccoli, I guess. That's just for the best of everyone, to be completely honest. Your significant other is a dog. His name is Harvey. Harvey is a nice name for a doggo. And hello. I need a blanket. I'm so cold. <laughs> I'm like shivering kind of cold. I'll be right back. I'll grab a blanket. Thank you very much for your patience. <laughs> I got the planchette. Wash potato, hello. You also have one of these blankets. Ah, oh, these are so good. <laughs> these are the best blankets ever. Oh. <laughs> I'm so like, why the fuck am I so cold? Like, what is this bullshit? <laughs> is this bullshit? You have a blanket just like that one. Amazing. What color is it? Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett. I don't know what Kate Blanchett looks like. I have heard that name. But, uh, you know. Uh, you also have a white blanket, hey. The only downside to, to a white blanket is that it, you know, 
if you accidentally spill something on it, then that's that's the end game. And this blanket, I think, has some some coffee <laughs> coffee stainage in one corner, which is not great, but oh well, it's still it's a gray blanket. Okay, my back is exposed, and I can't have that. No, I do wash it, but it's just that for whatever re well, A, you can't really wash it in high temperatures, this blanchet, because otherwise it's gonna lose its comfiness. So you're sort of left with stained areas that don't really come out, at least in my experience. I'm blending into the wall. Yes, please. <laughs> Let me blend into the wall completely. Heck yeah, this is great. Let's just keep the stream like this. A ghost stream. Terrifying, spooky. Also very comfy. Also, there isn't a lot of oxygen here. So that's a downside. Other than that, great. This is great. Okay, how do we... <laughs> wow. <laughs> how do we... Get out. So, I mean, I need my arms out. I am back. <laughs> I've been bursted out of the blanket. It's a floating head in the middle of a white wall. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, it's okay. That should be like an acceptable way of going out in public. The only downside, it doesn't really want to stay on, on top of my body, but... Is it that cold there? It is! I mean, to me... What can I do? <laughs> if I'm feeling cold, I'm feeling cold. <laughs> I look very pretty like that, like some type of mummy. Oh, thank you, I always wanted to be dead. We have finally achieved the final form. Great. <laughs> A burrito, yes. I'm a burrito. Please don't eat me. Don't. Blue eyes, hello. How are you? Big brooch so it turns into a cloak. That's an option, yes. Okay, the fuck is that? It's not even a link. Like, you're supposed to know how to technology. Why? Why don't you know how to technology? Why are you posting links that are not really links? That are just nonsense. My dear, please get your fucking shit together. Uh, Dexter, yeah, we're gonna do a bunch of others. I mean, so far, we're, al <laughs> we're already an hour and a half into the stream, and as you can see, we don't really have much. But I am covered in a blanket, so, you know, we're good in that department. <clears throat> Starting to look more like a furry. When you wrap yourself in a blanket, I'm not sure if that's how it goes. I'm no expert when it comes to furries, but I think wrapping yourself in a blanket does not really qualify you as one. <laughs> You're definitely getting closer to the burrito stage than the furry stage. Are you okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, I'm f I mean, I'm fine. I don't feel like I, I have fever, I don't think. But I mean, I can't tell. My hands are cold. I don't know.
Pebbles knows all about burritos now. How do you know about Pebbles? Have you met Pebbles? Pebbles is pretty cool. You need a moment alone. What do you mean you need a moment alone? You can't have that here. <laughs> Capital A alone. You need alone. Oh, for what? <laughs> ET phone home. I've actually never seen that movie. Nor am I. Nor am I going to watch it ever, I don't think. The creature just from the pictures I've seen like why would I why would I want to look at that for however long the movie is? You've never had a burrito and D has three every day. That's not fair. Well, that's why you need to go to Texas, Kay. You need to go with, to Texas together with um, Pebbles and you can have burritos three times a day and freaking pancakes dr drowned in maple syrup and chocolate chips and bananas and whipped cream for breakfast. <laughs> K is from space, <laughs> or for your from your local vegetable garden. No burritos growing there. All your exes live in Texas, do they? Do they really? Well, you better get out of Texas then. Find your luck somewhere else. ET is really good, you're missing out. I can live with that. Thank you. You really think it would be a good idea for you to go there? You would eat yourself to death in three hours, perfect. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but like, wouldn't you, wouldn't you like to experience all the things? You obviously wouldn't stay there for, you know, your entire life, but just for like a week. Or maybe even, yeah, well, a week. It would be pretty nice, wouldn't it? And you do like food, and you appreciate food, and you enjoy food, and you like all kinds of things, so it would be like heaven for you. And then you can come back and have your whatever you eat. <laughs> You're going to uncover your tomatoes. Well, do it. Expose them to the elements. <clears throat> you love food. Well, what's your favorite food, Blue Eyes? You don't get a straight answer from Kay even when she sees you for the first time. Yeah, well, that's sort of how things are here, Era. Get used to that. <laughs> Get used to that. Is all I can say. <clears throat> I thought a fresh start might get you on a blank page with some of the people here. You tried so hard. Well, why did you expect for things to change? Why? K 
Keep your expectations low and you will never be disappointed. Everyone deserves a, a fresh start. Who said that? <laughs> Your favorite food is sushi. Ooh, that's nice. Any specific kind of sushi? Gork, hello, good morning, how are you? <clears throat> sushi, this I have an issue. <laughs> is that even English? You have an issue with sushi? I'm all right, thank you. Thank you. Just doodling and and freezing to death. Um, you spent a gazillion time making it and then plop, it's gone in like two seconds. Yeah, well... But then again, it's worth it, isn't it? Thank you, Eric. Thank you. Are ours marsupials? I have zero idea. Mother Google. I'm sure she has an answer, but I don't right now. My favorite food. Um. Well, I guess I like fries. I like fries and I like green peas. <laughs> I like fries and I like green peas. And yeah, I think that's my favorite food. Mashed potatoes are pretty cool as well. Yeah, I like green peas. Especially when they're a little bit mushed up and you add a couple of spices, a little bit of salt. Ooh, delicious. Do you <clears throat> not add anything to potato mash since you're vegan? Um, I make mashed potatoes with, uh, whether with almond milk or oat milk or some other type of whatever milk there is available. Um, so, yeah, 
I mean, it's, it tastes like regular mashed potatoes to me. Um, that's a first for you. Never heard someone say their favorite food was peas. Well, you know, I just like peas. I like green peas. I don't know. They're so nice and tasty. You're back, but still hurt. That's fine. You will. It's gonna be fine. You will survive. Have I made almond milk before? I think once, maybe. But, uh... I mean, to be fair, it's too much work for the... for the mediocre results that you get. <laughs> so if you, if you want some almond milk, just freaking buy it. It's gonna be... it's gonna be easier. Eric, you know, what can I do? I like them. Hello, Ra. How are you? That was a surprising thing to see. Oh, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> you expected me to sprinkle some peas on the pizza, but drowning it in peas. <laughs> it was a new one. You see, there are other people who drown their pizza in, in other things. So, there are people who, like, like Zeka, she put all of the olives on the pizza. Like, I personally don't understand that. I think olives are fucking disgusting. So, I would never do that. Like, it's mind-blowing to me that people can, can do that. But, you know... I understand. She likes olives. I like, I like green peas. <laughs> Everywhere. Like, just give me green peas. Pineapple on pizza. I like pineapple on pizza, yes. I don't have it often. Because, I mean, I don't have pineapple at home usually. But if I had pineapple, I would put it on my pizza, sure. <sighs> you do not like pineapple on pizza that's fine then don't put it on there <laughs> then you are the type of person who should not put pineapple on pizza if you don't like it I personally think it adds like a nice touch of sweetness it's you know the savory and the sweet and it's a good combination of things you know nice layering of, of flavors what about peas in pizza what do you mean in pizza like just dough with peas mushed inside or what <laughs> I'm not sure how that, wouldn't that just be like a pie in theory? A stuffed crust pizza with peas. You see, the thing with that, I'm not sure how that would go down because the peas do have quite a bit of moisture in them. And then when they're like, they can't really evaporate, or when they do, all the moisture just would leak inside of the dough and make the crust soggy and sad. Unless you cook the peas first and have like them already pretty crispy, then maybe in theory it would work, but um, you know, I haven't tried it and I don't think that I will. So, 
<clears throat> Stick a fork in the crust, level up your baking. That ain't gonna cut it, Eric. That ain't gonna cut it. The peas have too much moisture. K answered, but you don't know if that's like the correct answer. <laughs> Maybe K is just telling lies. You're not a liar. That's good. Okay, so now we <clears throat> now we know where K lives. Wonderful. Mm. You went to school and bought Liebenzer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <sighs> you Googled and found how to bake with pea puree. Ooh, pea puree. I mean, what do you make with that? <clears throat> Apparently cookies, bread, and cakes. Interesting, interesting. Well, I mean, if it works, why not? <clears throat> well, I mean, I wouldn't say he's like super famous, but people know some of his works, I think, sometimes. <laughs> <clears throat> Famous song about a steppe wolf. 
is everywhere on the radios. Is it though? Is it everywhere? All the radios. I don't listen to radio. I actually do. Danish radio. You listen to radio and you drive a lot. I think that's sort of the typical combination of radio and radio and driving. When else are you going to listen to radio? Unless, well, maybe at work. <coughs> okay, that's not nice. Be nice. Eric is new here. Well, forever, hello. <clears throat> I'm in mean, K is... K failed to post a link. So... The genius is sort of questionable. What are all those freckles on your face? I think you sort of answered your own question here. Pretty straightforward. Or freckles. Mind-blowing, I know. I know. <clears throat> a cream. Yeah, well, I used it and here we have even more freckles. It's great. It's a freckle cream. You put it on once and you don't have to worry ever again. It will be sprouted naturally. <clears throat> heavy cream, just slap some heavy cream on everything. Oh, thank you forever. 
Thank you. I will take your wonderful suggestions in account. <clears throat> You did great, Eric. Mm. Oh, Dexter, I don't think that I will do that. Kenzo, hello. An arrow going an order in its mouth. No. I wouldn't know what Eric looks like. He's new here. Dapper, hello. Yes. We're back with, with some creatures. Eric did post a picture once. No, he's new. I don't know, Eric. Who even is Eric? <clears throat> okay, I can't. I'm too invested. I'm good, thank you, Genzo. Thank you. And it really is the comfiest blanket that I've ever had. Sometimes I'm just a lot to handle. I know, I know. But somehow you always come back here, so maybe you're into that. I don't know. I'm just going to use the name. Hello, hello. Eric, did you get any tasks at this point, or are you still sort of floating around, not knowing what to do?
Okay, you boy, get the fuck out. See you never. Apparently it is not at work today. You asked Fabio. Who is his deputy? No task still now. Wonderful. Great. <laughs> Why did you even have to go to work then? You could have just stayed home. Blurb, hello, good morning, how are you? Hey, you're already working only once a week. <clears throat> Fine, okay. Fine. A crown. Xenopi is absolutely not the mod. If anything, Xenopi is sometimes on the edge of being banned as well. So, just saying. Like you survive this day, you never know. It's like Hunger Games. You never know what will happen. Eric, you don't have to explain anything. It's okay. Don't don't waste your energy and your time. It's not worth it. Don't do it. All right, Kay. Best of luck with that. See you whenever. Whenever the time is right. Oh, thanks, Eric. We'll see if if this is gonna look 
okay once I do the proper line work. Or maybe I will mess it up, but hopefully not. See you, spoon? No. I'm still deciding on that, Eric. I don't know. A part of me would like to introduce a little bit of color or shading or something to this, but then again, I kind of do also like the, the just clean look and that you can see the pencil lines and everything. So we'll see how things escalate. Mandatory remark, yes, colors, please, yes. Well, Ra, we're, we're getting a lot of colors recently. So maybe it's time for like no colors for a bit. An angry letter? No. No angry letters. <laughs> Have I done large cats yet? Lines, etc. Mm. Don't think so. I've done only regular cats. Yeah, no, haven't done lions. It's fine, Eric. You got an offensive PM. Isn't that great? <laughs> Isn't that great? Fun times. Random question. How do you better understand a lecture? By reading a paragraph or by watching images related with the concept? Um, it really depends. It really depends. Can't give you a straight answer. It like it boils down to what exactly I need to know and how I need to remember things. Like, do I need to know things exactly, or can it be like you know my sort of interpretation? Do I need to remember certain like I don't know a structure of some sort, or do I just briefly need to know stuff? It, like, depends. Do I like beets? I like pickled beets, yes. And I like beet soup. Um, beets in any other way, shape, or form, I don't like. I know you can get like beet salad, like that doesn't sound great to me. But yeah, pickled beets and uh, beets in a soup, delicious.
I don't like the earthy taste. I don't know if it's necessarily the earthy taste, but it's just not for me.